Hello guys, and this is Precious. So, I noticed there are a lot of complaints in the group. A lot of people are having issues with being able to download Linux or Ubuntu on their system using VirtualBox or WXL. So, there is another way you can do it using an application called CYGWIN. So, go to Google and type CYGWIN. Then click on the first results. It will take you to a page like this. Ensure you scroll to the bottom, then at installing CYGWIN, click on setup. It's going to download a file in your download folder. So this is mine. Then click on the file to start the installation. Yes. Next. Install from internet. Next. Leave everything as it is. Recommended for all users. Next. 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 So it's going to show you a list of um, places where the download will be done from. So you can click on the first results and click on next. So give it time, depending on your internet size, it's going to download all the application files. Then the next stage is where we download our packages. So basically, you already know what you want to use, right? So let's click on view then on full then in full the first thing we will download is called gcc so gcc is what is going to help you to compile your c programs so when you have gcc the next thing for you is to we have to select one of them we can't use everything so we have to select one so let's go for so for the first one on MinGW Core, click on this and choose one of the version. So we want the core. We also want GCC G++. So you click on this and you install one of the version. So let me see if there's another one we would need. Unmaintained. Avoid the unmaintained ones. So that's why I went to the bottom to MinGW. So I think I have the core. I'm down. I'm installing the core. I'm also installing GCC G++. I'm taking my time here so that you would see it. I'm also installing this GCC core. Note the four ones, the four files, the four, the four packages I've selected. So the first one is this one, GCC core. The second one is GCC plus. Then there's another GCC core again. So let me check if there's another. Okay, no other. So please pause this page and just look at everything I've selected, all right? So good. The next thing we need is Vim, the VIM editor. So we are also going for, let's see. So we have to look for one of them to download. So we, there's Vim Minimal. Vim comes with it already, but you know, you could also decide to go for a common one. So this is Vim common. Select one of the version. So this is Vim improved. That's why it's called Vim. So you can also select the SRSC file. Or you could leave that. So now that is Vim for you. You can also go for just this one, VIM, just the normal Vim. It depends on you, but that is basically it. You have Vim, so you can select any one you want. You can see the ones I've selected. Then the next thing is you also go for Emacs, the next editor that we'll be using. So this is the first one, Emacs. There are different types, so just check around and select one of the Emacs files. So I'm going to go for, I think there's, a, there's one with a very good interface. Let me see. Let me select this MX X11. So you click on the drop down. You select one of the versions. Then the next application is Git. So we can go for this one that's called Git. Drop down, select any of the version. So that's it. So take notes. The first thing is you go for GCC. After GCC, 
you search for Emax, you select the one you want. After Emax, you go for Vim, VRM, you select the one you want. After that, you go for Git and you select the one you want. The next thing is for you to do, you click on Nest and our download or install will begin. So I've clicked on Nest and it has started. So it will take a little bit of time so you can grab a cup of coffee now and let's see what is installed for us so just give it time you know it takes a bit of time because we are downloading some packages so it will take its time you know a lot of time to get them into your computer system so i hope you're catching up on the other stuff you need to do apart from installing vim and emacs you also need to learn how to use them and how to program with them so there will be classes and trainings on that too there will be videos on this youtube channel too okay i think we're almost done here so 91 91 so now it's installing them after downloading it has to install them so you have to give it time too again it's not easy it's not easy but then when you have it in your computer system already it's going to be the last time except you uninstall or you delete them so it's better you get all this out of the way now okay so we're almost done 94 percent again so it had to download the first time then the second time it would now install them so i think we're done let's see let's see let's see So now we're running the setup again like i always tell you a little bit of patience and everything will be fine just be patient that's one of the traits of a good software developer patience 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 this is 100 percent again for the other setup and there you have it we are done so click on create icon on desktop add icon to start menu i like to have them there then finish so that is it we have it installed then let's test it out so on your computer if it's not here just search for cygwin cygw it will come up so i'm going to open mine now so mine is open let me increase my font size so that you can see what i'm doing on my screen you click on test select uh let me make it 20 apply okay apply save so this is cy dream as you can see the icon is here now and as you can see i have linux on my computer system now this is the linux environment so cy dream makes it possible for you to have the linux look and feel on your computer and if you think i'm lying to you let's try the linux commands right so pwd print working directory as you can see that's the directory also the next thing you can do is you can see all the files or folder lx there is no file there is no folder let's create one mkdir precious folder you see lx you see the folder now let's go into the precious folder let's create a document touch called test.tst as you can see you can ls to see that it is there it is there now so basically that is what i want you to know about um, installing cy um, cy Gwyn. i can't even pronounce the name properly so you can see that we have it already on our computer system so also let's check for the other packages we installed the first one is gcc so let's check the version if we have it so as you can see we have gcc to help us compile our c program files we can also check for the something else with for c++ called gcc g++ g++ version you see it is installed so let me clear now let's check if we have our git installed remember we installed git so as you can see git is installed git is already on the system so let me clear this 
let's also check if we have vim editor vim as you can see vim is also installed if you follow my instruction you should have it too so let me exit use semicolon q then question mark uh, sorry exclamation mark to exit so let's check if emax is installed too so you type emax enter as you can see emax is installed too to exit out of this screen all you need to do is just say control control c control x oh sorry i missed it around escape so that's control x control c to get out of emax so that's basically it so if you're having problem installing linux using VirtualBox and wxl this should work for you so i'll see you thank you guys